Hello, church family. This week's prayer focus is on discernment, spiritual discernment. Charles Spurgeon said that spiritual discernment is not knowing the difference between right and wrong, but it is instead understanding the difference between right and almost right. And as we've been praying for our pastor search committee, that's what we want for each and every member, that they would understand the difference between right and almost right when it comes to determining the man that the Lord has already selected to be our next senior pastor. You see, the Lord views people differently than we do. We see outer appearances, but God sees the heart. And so we need to know who he has decided will be our next senior pastor because he knows that choice better than we could ever understand it. So let's continue to pray for our pastor search team that they would be overflowing with spiritual discernment as they go through this process to identify the man that the Lord has chosen. And you know, spiritual discernment is not just for the big decisions. It's for even the smallest ones. God is in every detail of our life and he wants us to be in the middle of his will. That's the perfect place to be. So we can pray for ourselves, for others about spiritual discernment such that we know for sure that we are right dead center of where God wants us to be in carrying out his will for our lives. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And as we follow obediently in this way, that's when we receive the abundant life. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that you love us so much. And we thank you for the pastor, the man that you've already selected that you will send to us. And we just pray that as he comes before his new congregation, that he sees a team of people ready and willing just to serve you, Lord, and to be obedient in carrying out what, it, what you have us to do, such that we are at the center of your will, ready to continue to reach out within our community just to show others about your love, Lord Jesus, and just to be on mission and ministry to those who are hurting. It's in your name we pray these things, Jesus. Amen. Y'all have a great week.